Hi everyone, welcome back to another weekly math video. And this week is a little bit different and I'm kind of excited about it, but a little nervous and I'll tell you why in just a minute because I'm bringing you just a little bit of a different video. In the past, you have seen me bring you videos anywhere from algebra one to geometry to calculus to upper level mathematics. And this video actually comes from a TV show called Survivor. Hi everyone, my name is Christy and I bring you weekly math videos that helps you in different math classes. But like I said, this week is a bit different. So I was watching this show on TV called Survivor. It was episode 45, sorry, season 45, episode nine. And in this episode, there were three players and on the show Survivor, these three players lost their vote. So they couldn't vote in the upcoming ceremony to vote someone off of the Survivor Island. And in order to get their vote back, they had to solve a logic puzzle and the math teacher in me got so excited paused the video and i thought i'm gonna try out this logic puzzle with you for the first time i haven't tried this myself i'm gonna try it out with you for the first time in this video and i'm gonna see if i can solve this problem and i'm a little bit nervous because i'm a math teacher come on of course i should be able to solve this logic puzzle which happened to really just be a math problem at its core and out of these and i later watched it and out of these three players uh one player was able to solve this math problem on the show so i'm going to like i said do this problem in front of you and I encourage you to try it as well. So if you want to pause the video and try it yourself or else uh, do it right alongside me and see if you can beat me with your time, you probably will. I mean, this could be embarrassing because again, I'm a math teacher and we'll see if I can solve it. So here we go. I'm going to explain the problem to you and then of course it's time. So then I'll start the timer and see if I can solve it. All right, here it is. So here is the logic puzzle. Three minutes is what you had. And they had like a little um, like hourglass thing that they had to flip over and they had three minutes to solve this and without a calculator. So no calculator can be used. Here's the problem. Without changing the order of the covered numbers and using three plus signs and one minus sign, solve so the equation equals 100 exactly. All right. Here it is. I'm gonna reveal the numbers and start the timer. I'll talk through it, see if I can do it. I have three minutes. I'm nervous. Okay, give me grace, you guys, if I can't solve it. I'm a math teacher, but still, that's okay. It's It, it makes me nervous. All right, here I go. And I'm gonna reveal the numbers. I'm gonna start the timer and I need to get the pen. Okay, here I go. So three plus signs, one minus sign needs to equal 100. Okay, um, let me do, no, let's start with a plus. Okay, so nine plus, I'm gonna do 87. I need to get the number high. So that would be, uh, mental math, uh, 96. Um, let's get it higher. 96 plus 65, I think would be way too much. I wouldn't get back down there. So 96 plus six, it's gonna put me at 102. I don't know, let me add again. 102 plus five, that'd be 107. Let me, oh, I already used the three plus signs. So if I subtract, yeah, that'd be using all of them and then I would have a super huge number. Okay, so I'm gonna have to space these out even more. So how about, I don't know, 90, 98? Okay, 98, I don't know, minus, minus seven is 91. 91 plus six is 97. 97, oh, it's still gonna be so spaced out. 97 plus five, 102, 102. No, that's, the numbers are gonna be too big. I have to, okay, 98, ah, oh my gosh. I'm only down to a minute 48. Okay, 98, what did I put there? A minus, so 98 plus, 98 plus 76, ah, no calculator. Uh, 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 mm, mm. That's wait. I feel like that's way too big. If I add those, um, 174. I don't know minus minus 54. That puts me at 120. Um, no, that's not gonna. No, no, not gonna get there. Okay. Oh my gosh. How are they able to solve this? 
in three minutes. How was that? How was that one person able to solve it on the show? Uh, okay, um, ninety-eight. And like looking at the time, you guys, it like makes me nervous too. I can't do that. Okay, ninety-eight. Do I start with ninety-eight? Ninety-eight. Mm. Have I done plus? Yeah, plus one hundred and five. Um. I don't know, minus, that'd be 105, 105 minus 65, that would be 40, 40 plus, 40 plus 43 is 83, mm, mm, 83, nope, plus 21, still not going to get there, okay, I have 30 seconds, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, this would be so embarrassing, um, I don't know, 98. Is it 98? Is it 9? There's so many different places you could put the pluses and minuses. Uh, 98 um, minus 76? That would give me... And I'm already out of time. That's embarrassing. All right. Couldn't do it. Couldn't solve it. Could you? You probably could. I couldn't. All right. Um... Yeah, so that was fun. Couldn't solve it. I'd be curious if you could write in the comments. Were you able to solve it in three minutes? You probably were. What strategies did you use? Uh, I think I'm going to see if somebody else can solve it. So I'm going to get another YouTuber on here and give him this problem and see if he can solve it. Maybe it would make me feel better knowing that I'm the only one that can't solve it. And again, I'm a math teacher. Okay. I'm going to bring in Cam Wise. Cam Wise is a YouTuber and uh, see if Cam Wise can solve this logic puzzle from Survivor. All right, so I've brought in YouTuber Cam Wise. Hi, Cam. Hi, everybody. Hi, Christy. <laughs> so Cam Wise, a little bit about Cam. Uh, Cam is a singer-songwriter, and Cam puts up uh, videos, what would you say, Cam, about weekly or? Yeah, yeah, I try, try to do weekly or every couple of weeks, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Cam does some covers, great, great covers. Um, and then he also has his original music on YouTube. It's awesome. Oh, um, so definitely that. check it out. Check out Cam Wise's uh, YouTube channel. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, I just, I love your music. You play guitar and oh. piano and just bring us great music. So thank you, thank so, you much. so much. I just tried a logic Um puzzle cam and um i just recorded myself trying this puzzle for the first time so let me give you some background okay. information that i just uh shared uh with the viewers so there were three players who lost their vote and in order to get their vote back and they know how important like having a vote is on survivor and to get their vote back they had to go off by themselves and they had to solve a logic puzzle on survivor really? and this logic puzzle happened to be a math problem I'm intrigued. So the okay. math teacher in me thought, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to write down the problem and I'm going to try it myself. So I actually just tried it for my viewers, like on the video for the first time. I had not even tried it before. So I just pressed record and recorded okay. myself trying this problem. And I'm not going to tell you if I was able to solve it or not. Okay. 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 So, uh, Cam, can you please pull up the problem for yes. us? All right, Cam, so here is the problem that the participants on Survivor had to solve. Okay. Without changing the order of the covered numbers and using three plus signs and one minus sign, you need to solve the equation so that it equals 100 exactly. Okay, so I can't change the position of the numbers. Correct. I need three additions, so I have to add three times and sub subtract one times, and the addition and subtraction I can move around. Correct. Okay, and I need it to equal 100. Yes. Oh, and man. So you're going to reveal the numbers and then start your timer. Cam Wise, are you ready? I think so. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Is this harder than derivatives? I don't know. <laughs> okay, changing and start my timer. Start your timer. All right, without changing. Okay, so I need four plus signs. No, three plus signs and one minus sign. Okay, no changing the order of the numbers. All right, we're going to try 17 plus 15 is 32. And then, okay, 
Oh, so then some of these numbers won't be added or subtracted, right? Like some of them might stay together like 65. Oh man, oh man, I was anticipating only a few numbers. Oh geez, okay. So, so if we start simple, we're gonna just try and order. So let's see, so 17 plus 15 is... Okay, no, I don't think this strategy is gonna work for me. So we're gonna erase and try it again. All right, so we've got... Okay, I like the nine, nine. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go in groups of two. 98 plus 76 plus 54. I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try this because I feel like I might be getting closer to 100 here. So 98, I'm assuming no calculator. <laughs> no calculator on this No one. calculator, all right. So I'm at 282 minus 21 would not be 100. So I'm gonna have to group these up a little bit differently. Okay, so first attempt, second attempt was a fail. Okay, oh man, I have a minute, oh no. Okay, let's see. So I've got, okay, let's try 998 minus 76 plus 54, three, three plus sides, right? Okay, so 98 minus 76 would be um, 22, 22 and 54. Oh, I might have it, 32 and one, four and two is six and seven and two, like four and two is, oh shoot, that's gonna be a nine. Oh my goodness. Let me double check that I got this name. 22, 54, 32. One. Oh my gosh, I have 109, I'm getting close, and I only have 19 seconds, oh my gosh, what do I fix? Okay, wait, 98 plus 76 minus 54 is 100, maybe? Oh, let's see, uh, 98 oh my gosh, I'm gonna say it's 100. <laughs> and Cam, time is up. Oh. All right, I... I unfortunately admit defeat on this challenge with more time, I'm sure, but that's the whole point of Survivor, right, is that time constraint. Am I voted off the island? <laughs> So cam wise, you would not get your vote back. Um, in this scenario, there were three players who were under uh, this pressure to solve this problem in three minutes. And one of them was able really? to uh, correctly accomplish this. So uh, would you like to know if I was able to do it in three minutes? I cam would wise? love to know that. What? I would love to know that. I'm a math teacher, you know, so, so these problems should come easily to me. Yeah. I also failed the challenge. Interesting. I did. I did. So thank you for trying, Camwise. You make me feel much better knowing that um, I'm not the only one who um, finds this problem challenging. This so is hard, especially there, with that. If you were able to solve this and you were able to do much better than us, comment below. Tell us. We would love to hear. I won't be surprised if you're able to. Uh, kudos to you if you are. But at least, you know, we hope you tried it along with us. This was and, fun. And uh, yeah, Cam Wise again. Thanks so much for trying it, trying it yourself. And um, I think, you know, you and I both might take some time and, and try to solve this problem with, oh, I love uh, with more so time the timer aspect, available to us. All right, everyone, are you ready to see how it's done? Well, I will show you. It just took me a little bit more time. That's all I need. I just needed a few more minutes and then I could have gotten it. So I got it. I just needed a little more time past those three minutes. All right, so here it is. The minus sign does in fact go after the 98. And then we are going to subtract 76. So I'm going to start with 98 and I'm going to subtract 76. Once you do that, you are now at 22. From 22, we are going to add 54. Okay, so from 22, we're gonna add 54. 22 plus 54 gets us 76. Then here's the kicker. You just add three to 76 which gets you to 79. And finally, 79 plus 21, there we have it, the goal of 100. And I believe we did the right thing. We used three plus signs and one minus sign to set an equation that equals 100. And there it is. So kudos to the one person on Survivor who did get this problem correct. I was with the other two that was not able to solve it in the three minutes, but I was able to solve it after the three minutes. So I hope this gave everybody a good challenge problem to try. I know I always love logic puzzles or problems like this, but darn, I'm just going to beat myself up about this one, about not being able to get it in those three minutes. Darn it. So anyways, hopefully you were able to, or you were able to solve it after the fact as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment below. I love seeing what comments you all come up with. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to click that subscribe button so that you can see future Calculus by Christie videos. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.